You know, a couple of years ago, I, I had a column that appeared in a publication in, the snowboard, in a snowboard trade magazine. And I said, if you think about the future of skiing and snowboarding, we're a skiing family. We ski every single weekend. My oldest son is a ski instructor. And I was thinking about the world of skiing in 2015, 2020. And I said, if you think about what's going to happen with this next generation, you know, our boards, our skis, our planks are going to be plugged into the internet. There will be webcams all over the hill, which will film our ride. And when we hit the bar later on and we go into the hot tub, there's our, there's our run down the hill. This next generation is going to expect an experience that is fundamentally different. I, I, I did a talk once about three years ago for the Sporting Good Manufacturers Association. I had the CEOs of Reebok, Prince, Nike, a whole, a whole bunch of folks in the room. And I talked about the baseball bat of the future. And I said, if you think about the baseball bat of the future, you're going to have a kid out there, and when he swings that bat, the little microchip embedded in it is going to record a whole bunch of information. And, and it's going to feed it online. And it's going to be shared with his friends. And the way that they think about sports will be fundamentally different because they are the generation that does not know a world in which there is no connectivity. And I could see the looks in the faces of all these CEOs. How are they reacting? This is awful. This is ruining sport. And do you know what my observation was? If you think about what's going on here, it's not bad. It's not necessarily bad. It's different. It's different. It's not what we know. It's not necessarily what we grew up with. But who are we to judge how this next generation will interact with the world around them?